question everything. I think it's very important in life that we are curious about our surroundings. So you gotta, you gotta be curious and you have to have the eyes to look for it. You see, maybe you've got your head down, you're just kinda looking through life, you've got your head down, you're not really thinking about what's going on around you. See, that's your first mistake. Your second mistake is you don't, you don't appreciate what's around you as well. And I'm, I'm a culprit of that as well, but it is a real problem in today's age, day and age where we're always on our phones. And I'm on my phone recording this right now, so I'm not perfect, of course, but here we are thinking, trying to figure stuff out. And I'm seeing everything around me. I'm hearing these damn bugs behind me. I've got two trees in between me looking marvelous. The mulch here, a little bit old mixed with fresh this bench is perfectly painted it's green the cool breeze feels nice on my skin and it makes me think clearly if you're inside all the time in a white room with your earbuds in music blasting drinking energy drinks all the time you you're too you're moving too fast to see anything in life you can't think to yourself. You can't process what you're going through. And when you're not thinking and being reflective, you're, you're not really living, are you? You're just kind of moving. And when you're moving really fast through life, you're just kind of not really into it. You're not into it. You're not enjoying it. So you should enjoy it. So, what do you mean by that? Well, I think you should think about your life a little bit more. I think you should have purpose in each action that you take, each thought you do, and each word you speak. When you talk to people, use your hands a little bit more. Maybe you can inflect like me, you roll up your sleeves a little bit, looking fresh, crack your knuckles. Inflect on how you speak, use your hands to convey what you're trying to say. When you use your hands, you're getting more animated, but you're also animating your mind a little bit more. You're waking yourself up more for the conversation. If I sit here like this and talk to you like this, I'm like a hard ass, right? But if I use my hands like this, I'm able to talk to you and actually feel engaged in the conversation. See, that's very important when you want to convey your emotions or thoughts to other people. If they're not brought to attention with your hand signals and everything like that, and you're just sitting like this, well, I seem kind of boring. I, I'm just not really interested in talking to you. My phone is more interesting. But now if I inflect a little bit more, you see the difference? Communicating with others is something to over-obsess about. The small little things that you do be adjust your necklace a little, you know, get a little fresh, brush your hair, you kind of, you kind of mog a little bit. That right there is going to set you up for success. What is success? Well, you want to be overthinking. You want to be ahead of the crowd. And on top of that, you want to be ahead of yourself, right? Overthink and obsess over things, obsess over the way you talk to people, obsess over the way you come off to people, obsess over trying to learn more about life and proceed to learn. Never stagnate. You should never stagnate. You should always push for greatness and more. Um, I think it's very important to have a curiosity about life. When you're a curious person and you're inquisitive, you have questions for people, maybe you're trying to figure out how something works or how something breaks. Well, that doesn't break. But this will. Simple as that. I know it's a childish curiosity, but it's a simple example. I haven't felt this break yet. I felt this break. Done. My curiosity for that is now gone.
I would like to do something else now. Oh, maybe I'll grab another stick. Let's see how this knot breaks. It's like a wishbone for Thanksgiving. Hmm, interesting. You see, having curiosity about life allows you to be different than everyone else. Because a lot of people aren't curious. A lot of people are just going through the motions. Those are called depressed people. They may not be intentionally depressed, they may even be happy with themselves, but frankly, if I went around life without being a little bit curious about the little things, you're not living, are you? So I think it's important to appreciate the little things in life, and anyone who doesn't appreciate the little things is not really having anything going for them. Usually a lot of my videos are a little angry, a little spiced, I would say. But right now it's so calm and peaceful out, I just really don't know what to talk about. I just want to sit here. But I think I should talk to you about this anyways. How do you find inner peace? Well, look at my environment right now. Yeah, I'm at work right now, and it's been a long day at work. I had a huge breakfast, so I really don't need to eat lunch now. There's a lot of things in my mind. I've got homework to do. I've got videos to, to edit, I guess you could say. I want to learn about more topics to talk about. And I probably will be doing that later on the clock, hypothetically. But what do I do in my spare time? Well, I, I like to sit out here, enjoy the scenery. And I think you should too. Maybe you don't have two trees behind you and you can make a YouTube video out in a, on a picnic table outside while everyone else is eating. But, um, I don't know, people are very crowding sometimes. And I like the ability to step away from that. And it's very nice out. It's a great temperature for Florida summer. Very nice temperature. My hair is all nice and gelled today, nice looking fresh. We are going to have leg day later, which is going to be abysmal. But we got some iced coffee, so we're going to be set. And uh, I'll eat a bit in it before I head. <sighs> Don't mistake yawning for tiredness. It's just relaxation. I think there's nothing wrong with being a relaxed, calm person. Actually, I think it's one of your best qualities. It's just how well you can maintain it. Are you going to be able to maintain that relaxation and calmness in times of need when you actually need it? Or are you just being lazy right now? I would say that being relaxed and calm in a stressful situation is not being unempathetic or being lazy. It's simply being able to have control over the situation. You want to be able to have control over the situations that you're in. If you're calm and collected, you have more power in each word you say. As long as you don't start fumbling, rambling, and talking all kind of crazy speed talking. Don't do that. And you can kind of like throw people off by inflecting a lot with your hands and then stopping and bringing someone into your, yourself. That's a great way to bring someone into the conversation. You inflect a lot and you say, whoa, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Oh, what's your name? My name's Luke. Oh, that's great. Okay, let me take you over here. Okay, now what we're gonna do today is this. And you see how you slow down, how you talk, and that's how you get their attention. Now this isn't like a manipulation trick, this isn't some bullshit I'm talking about. It's simply learning how to talk to people. But anyways, I'm going to leave you at that. And um, communication is very important. And then obviously the, uh, what did I even start saying this for? Being calm, I guess. Anyways, well, I have you. I hope you have a great day. 
I'm going to research some topics to talk about in these videos, but please leave a comment down below. I'm trying to find what you're looking for and maybe my perspective on a question or topic in the comments would be very beneficial to you and me. So um, yeah, I'm going to go do some research and uh, I'll see you later. Peace.